cold and snowy weather outside, so we're headed indoors. It's an ice rink, much to less, but you know what? It's better than being outside battling the elements. The walleye back home hosting Kalamazoo. Game three of 14 against the Wings, and they get on the board first after a scoreless first period. It's Lucas Craig's for in front for the deflection to put the walleye on the board. Wings respond less than four minutes later. Tyler Irvine on the power play goal evens it all up at one. Still knotted at one in the third. Mason McCarty, right place, finds the back of the net. The Wings with their first lead of the night. Toledo looking for the equalizer late in the third. Trenton Bliss, the shot. Bodies in front trying to poke it home, but Cajun sprawled out, smothers the puck. The walleye with the chance just couldn't make it happen. Kalamazoo adds the empty netter for the 3-1 win. Winning, winning the races for the second chances, uh, making sure you bear down. Uh, you know, everyone, that's where the games are won and lost is all at the net front. And, uh, you know, we have to do a better job around that net and just being more determined and, and you can't get frustrated. That's the biggest thing is uh, goal scoring. Your guys that think they should be scoring goals is you can't get frustrated. You have to stick with it and, and outwork the other team. Kendall Linen Kugel and Matt Melzag join us with more from the Bank Tank. All right, thanks back out here at the Huntington Center. Kendall, uh, you know, another day here in which the Toledo Walleye struggle to score goals. They struggled to score goals. Even last night, they won 2-1 to one on the road at Fort Wayne. Only one tonight. Right, and the Walleye's main problem here is they're getting opportunities. They're just not getting pucks in the net. We talked about it with both Coach Alden and Coach Dan Watson that they're just they're having all the opportunities. They're getting people in front of the net like they should. They're getting the shots off. They just can't get pucks into the net. We've come up against some great goaltending, uh, and we have great goaltending on our side ourselves, but unfortunately for the Walleye, we just have not been able to produce offensively even though we've positionally been in the right spot we have a great defense it's just we can't get anything anything home yeah and right now toledo those things just aren't going in you know what you got that string going too they're one for their last 17 on the power play power play starts getting going all of a sudden a lot of things start changing pucks start going in the net it's amazing how one or two go in, the next thing you know, a whole bunch go in, right? I right. mean, this thing snowballs, doesn't it? Exactly. And we were mentioning, we were talking about that earlier. As soon as once you get over that hump, it's just downhill sailing from there. It's everything's going to be smooth. And I think the walleye are just in a hump right now, and they just need to get through it, start getting offensive, offensive production going in on their games. And after that happens, they'll be smooth sailing. Yeah, we'll see when that can get started. They're back here at the Huntington Center for two coming up next weekend.